All right, it's real early in the morning. It's about, uh, uh, let's see, it's about almost five o'clock in the morning. And I went to bed really early last night and I decided to get up and go to work on the clay for a little while. I don't know how long that's gonna last because I'm not used to working this early in the morning and it may be really bad to screw up my sleeping schedule, but I'm gonna try it. Right now I'm still getting my sculpting stand ready to take uh, this clay so I can start doing the final finishing touches on the uh, clay itself and uh, just screwing down the uh, cutting boards for me to roll my clay on. So I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom and work up. And what I'll do is I'll lower the uh, sculpting stand as I go up. Get a couple tools that I'm going to need. It's taking me a few minutes to get all my tools collected together. The this clay's been sitting in the gallery since well, the beginning of summer. No, it hasn't. It sat. I took it down to to the uh, gallery. I think in August, and it sat there through September, October, right up until a couple of days ago. So it's uh, not too much damage on it. Quite honestly, it's really surprising not to see any nicks or bruises <laughs> on the clay. Not that the clay can bruise, but you never know. Anyway, I'm going to work out the shape of the foot just a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to put beadwork on his moccasins, and the reason for that is everyday use of moccasins didn't have beadwork on them. Beads were very expensive and very valuable. And besides that, Crazy Horse wasn't a flamboyant warrior. He didn't uh, wear a war bonnet. He didn't uh, wear fancy clothes. He did have a hair shirt, but that was taken away from him when he uh, messed around with another warrior's wife and he ended up getting shot in the face for it. It wasn't life-threatening, the wound that he received, but it was uh, enough to scar him for life. But a war leader, or hair shirt wearer, is supposed to be above all that. They're, it's a very honorable position in the tribe. And he uh, abused it, so he lost his shirt. Oh, I'm so glad that furnace is off. Anyway, I gotta check the uh, width of the uh, moccasins. I gotta find my calipers. There they are. You can always find them because uh, if you throw them in something, it's always gonna have the needles up. So if you reach your hand in, you're going to hurt yourself. That's just the way things work out. Well, how about that? That's spot on. All right. Just uh, make sure that the uh, length from the pants leg to the tip of the toe is right. Could be just a little longer. There we go. Actually, quite a bit longer. Now that I look at it. 
right there. Can't have one foot short in length compared to the other one. I don't want to overdo the texturing, but uh, Okay, now I've got a serrated edged tool that gives me a different texture for the uh, dark or the black area of the uh, trade blanket. I'm not happy with that tool. I got several to choose from, so that's it. But it's hard to get into there. Let me see. Get this out of the way. I'm just trying to give a different texture. This for different parts of the uh, clothing. Okay, I'm not going to video all this because it's going to be just little detail work that, quite honestly, is boring to watch. It's like uh, the final touches you put on anything. It's just it's something that uh, isn't all that interesting. So I'll pick this up next week. And, uh, or if I have anything exciting to record, I'll do it, but right now I don't see that happening. Um, just got to get it all ready to go to the foundry next week. So everybody have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. 
give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time